live in California, and I see a lot of Audis. Mm -hmm. This might be a fairly marketing question, but I don't picture Audi as a green company per se. But how how is how no, you, you won't you won't say it's a green company? No, I mean I don't I don't think of it as a green. Ah, sure, company, okay. But yeah. are you when the diesels roll out as fifty state diesels, especially in California, are you going to market them as a performance technology or? A Greener technology, because I know. No, it's both. I think it's both. Yeah. Right. No, but uh, we, 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 let's say we don't say that first priority that we are green company. Yeah. Um, we are the first priority that we build products for our customers. Yeah. That's first one. Uh, but uh, we have, uh, I think, very. We are very responsible, also for the for the environment. Yeah. And I, I personally feel also very very uh, in charge. Uh, for for environmental uh, things like we, we like like our engine they have to be clean and we have to respect we have to respect the environment yeah but what is the case is that the diesel is a very very uh, environment friendly uh, powertrain yeah. anyway. but this we cannot lie yeah but we do that also because our what is our experience that the uh, the customers who change to the diesel in Europe, yeah, they remain with diesel because what they what they like very much is the combination of performance, yeah, feel the power and fuel economy. Will, will this um, clean diesel that we now have in California, the 15 parts per million since October 15th, plus your new diesel engine and add blue and blue tech your after treatment, will it make this diesel with the engine uh, cleaner than any gasoline? Let's say, uh, the, the, from, from uh, uh, there we have to talk about uh, uh, thermodynamic, yeah? Mm -hmm. The process, the diesel process is a different one than the uh, gasoline process, yeah? So the diesel has an advantage on, on hydrocarbons, yeah? It's better on hydrocarbons, yeah? Yeah, normally. Uh, so he has not the hydrocarbon problem like the gas gas engines, yeah. I, I would not say hydrocarbon problem, but hydrocarbon. He don't. He produces less hydrocarbon, uh, like a gas, but he has, uh, on the other hand, normally higher NOx emissions, because you cannot use a, a, the three-way catalyst system on a diesel, yeah, because it doesn't run on homogeneous lambda one charge, yeah, which you need for a, a, a three-way catalyst. So the disadvantage is on uh, a little dis. Uh, Advantage on uh, hydrocarbon, but a disadvantage on 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 NOx. So anyway, we have to fulfill the the, the 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 limits. Yeah. So that means normally, yeah, we are we have to fulfill the NOx, yeah, for a lifetime, yeah, either with gas or with with, with diesel. Yeah. Uh, what we are better f a little bit for sure is hydrocarbon. There we are on the diesel better. That's are, the case. Are you studying HCCI? Sorry? Are you studying HCCI? Yes. And are you making headway on it? Uh, my personal opinion is yeah, that um, uh, we'll have not one combustion system in the future. Yeah? Because we will not have one fuel quality in the future. So I think there will be diesel combustion systems and there will be gasoline. Uh, combustion system. So we will have both. That will not end up that we have one engine uh, which in the one, which is uh, let's say the, uh, one, one party uses advantage from diesel and gas. Yeah. We'll have both. Yeah. But I have to say the, the combustion is becoming more more and more this, not the same but closer and closer because we are using direct injection yeah, since uh, years now as first manufacturer in the world also in the US. We have been the first one who introduced turbo direct injection engine in uh, three years ago. Yeah, yeah. Now other manufacturers start to come up also with direct injection turbo engines. Three years after us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a diesel today, TDI, is a turbo direct injection engine. Yeah. TFSI, our four-cylinder, which I think won several awards in the past years. Yeah. It's in the A4, yeah. A3 cars. Yeah, uh, uh, is a turbo direct injection engine. So in the in the future we'll see also on the gas side more and more 
uh, turbocharged the direct injection uh, uh, engines.